Hi, my name is Chris, and today I'm going to be discussing the Hagler factor. There were no videos on YouTube concisely explaining this factor, so I wanted to make one for everyone else. The Hagler factor is commonly referred to as factor 12, and it is made in the liver. Uh, factor 12 also starts the intrinsic pathway, which is defined as um, endothelial breakage within the blood vessels, which is different than the extrinsic pathway, which is initiated via trauma. For some facts before I explain how factor 12 is activated. So factor 12, like many of the other factors, is a serine protease. It's found on the fifth chromosome on the Q arm, which means that crudu Shah does not affect it. And it has an autosomal recessive inheritance pattern, which is um, pretty dangerous for those who have it. And I can go into kind of the paradoxical effects of its fibrinolytic pathway. But so factor 12 and how it's activated. So we have factor 12, which is made in the liver, and it is transported throughout the blood in an inactivated form. And when it's going along the blood, it is searching for subendothelial or tissue collagen. When factor 12 comes in contact with subendothelial tissue collagen, it is also saying that one of the endothelial cells broke because there's no collagen within the surface of the vessel usually. But when there's a rupture, a break, something of this nature, then you're going to have collagen exposed. And when collagen is exposed to factor 12, factor 12 becomes activated. The next step for this is, so now it becomes activated right here. This then starts the intrinsic pathway, which I can put as a picture right now. I don't know how much you're going to have to memorize from it, but you can kind of look at the picture right now. And you can pause the video if you need to. So when factor 12, Hagman factor is activated, it does two things. So one of the things that it does is it increases the amount of bradykinin. This is associated with pain, and the way this works is factor 12 kind of works through the pre krellin krillinin pathway, and downstream effect is you're gonna get more increased bradykinin. The other thing is fib fibrin split products. And fibrin split products are the formation of clots of thrombosis. And so those are the main two factors of factor 12. Uh, factor 12. When we are looking at this also, factor 12, um, I want to mention one more thing. It is part of the partial thrombinoplastin time, which means that intrinsic pathway is inherently PTT. So I hope that helped. Uh, very simple. Um, you have increased bradykinin, increased fibrin product, split product. When you activate this, when you see collagen. Um, hope that helped.